Welcome to this e-lecture, which will be about random events and probabilities. And let me start by say, uh, explaining what random events really are. So random events are events that cannot be predicted with absolutely certainty. And we can, we can talk about the degree of uncertainty. It's uh, events that can be predicted with certainty. Um, when you have events that cannot uh, can be predicted but not with certainty, then we talk about risk. And you have events that cannot be predicted, uh, and that's called uncertainty. And probability, uh, well, probability is a measure measures the degree of uncertainty or risk. And we have different approaches to uh, probabilities. Uh, you have this, uh, a frequency-based uh, approach. Uh, that's how often we observe a particular outcome or, uh, out of all possible outcomes. And you have a theoretical, which is an inher inherent disposition or inclination for an event to have a particular outcome. That's a more uh, the, the theoretical approach. And you have the subjective, which is a degree of belief that an outcome will occur or not. And that's called Bayesian statistics. And we will uh, work with uh, with uh, with uh, the frequency based uh, approach. So probability, it varies between zero and one. And if you have zero, then the outcome never occurs. That's max certainty. If the outcome always happens, well, then the probability is equal to one. Uh, and uh, that's max certainty. Whereas zero, then the outcome ha happens equally often as it doesn't happen. And that's max uncertainty. So, and as you move towards one or towards zero, you become more certain that it will not occur or that it, that it will occur. But if you're at, uh, if, if the chance is 50-50, then you're max uncertain. Um, and independent events. Uh, what are independent events? Well, the probability of one event occurring does not depend on the occurrence of another event. That's the definition of an independent event. So knowledge of one event provides no basis for predicting a second incident and as such events are without memory and the probability of several events uh, occurring is equal to the product of the probability for each event so if you are tossing a coin the probability of getting tail in one roll is uh, uh, 0 0.5 uh, pro uh, proportions or uh, 50 percent and the pro probability of getting tails in two throws consecutively is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is, which is uh, 0 0.25 proportions or 25%. And the probability of getting tails in three throws consecutively is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is, which is 0 0.125 proportions or 12.5%. And this all leads up to what we can call the central limit theorem, which is if you add up the outcomes of several random and independent events, for example, throwing of a dice, uh, of a dice uh, and you repeat this a great many times, the distribution of the sums will be normally distributed. So, for example, if you are throwing two dice, uh, uh, and you sum up the, the, the you, you sum up the the uh, distribution, um, then you will go towards normally dist the distribution. And 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 as you can see here, uh, mostly you will get uh, uh, a combination that equals seven, and and uh, the probability of getting. Uh, a, sm a smaller sum or a higher sum on the two dice uh, falls towards two and towards twelve, and uh, and you have the same example here. The the most the, the mo most often you will get the combination that the, the, where the sum is seven, and uh, the, um, uh, and uh, or six or eight, and the, and, and uh, getting higher sums or lower sums uh, are more uh, uh, not so. Uh, well, well the, the, the likelihood falls so you can you can try this to take two dices and uh, and uh, repeat uh, a great many times the throws and and then write down the sum of the two dices and you will get a normal distribution so 
that was the that was the e-lecture on uh, random events and probabilities uh, thank you so much